We up here on this farm, located in Lula, at two of my students' uh, farm. And what we're going to do, by popular request, is do fogging. Show you how to do it step by step. It's uh, December 11th, mid 40s, and as you can see, these are actually out working. And this is one thing that I do. I run a, a hybrid that runs a little colder than what Italians would do. And uh, Sandy has a business here, and uh, she'd be appreciated if you want to give her a little shout. She does a dog thing here. This is Sandy, one of my students, and her husband. We're at her farm. Yeah, I have a business called Three Smiling Dogs. You can visit on the website at www.threesmilingdogs.com. We sell dog food and treats of high quality, and uh, we appreciate if you visit us. All right, we're going to get this. We're going to get this high tech thing going here. Don is not a high tech person. Got it on. Got it on. Here, see if you can get this going. What we're going to use is plain mineral oil, and we're going to fire up. This is a new outfit right here. I have an older one, and this is how I buy it. I buy mineral oil, and for people that don't want to use chemical, this is mineral oil, which is a, sold as a laxative. And the laxative, uh, as it goes through the fogger and it, it, uh, it uh, vaporizes, what it does is coach the bees and suffocate your mites. And I have drank this stuff right out of the bottle. I mean, there's there's nothing wrong with it. And then here, you can buy it in a gallon size. Now, if you got a few hives, this is one way to buy it. It's more economical, gallon size, but it'll take you forever to use it. And what we're gonna do now, you can see, if the bees are flying, you can fog. And what you wanna do is fog, and make sure you're hot, Give her a couple pumps. We're not quite there. See if you're if it's squirting out like this, don't use it in your hive. That is real hot oil. You want nothing but fog coming out. So we not got enough heat here yet. There, we're starting to get hot. You want a good fog. See, we're starting to get hot. Once this is hot, you want a 15 to 20 second fogging of the bees doesn't hurt them one bit as long as the bees are flying and you've broken your cluster all right right now we about ready we're not getting the heat we should all right what you want to do is put it in the entrance 10 to 12 inches away give it one puff you can lift the lid up you see how it comes out the top that is all you need to do, a 15 second blast. I'm doing this here because I've gotten so many emails, phone calls of how to do this and it's real, real simple. Now if you look inside here, here's your bees. They're all the way up in here. It's got one high beetle on here, come up. Those bees are running him up there. So these bees, at this temperature, mid 40s, are more active. And I find them to be more active than Italians do. I do not run Italians. See, once you start getting through the top, that's all you need. This is good if you got one or two hives, if you got several hundred. Now at my home yard, I go through and I'll do two to 300 hives in 30 to 40 minutes. Now here's a hive that's set up all mediums, and here's one that's deep. So I run both configurations. And if you do this once a week, you ain't going to have any mites. But it's only necessary to do this every three weeks. Just enough to break that mite cycle. The mites, they're on an egg cycle, 21 days. You see how easy that is? You can't get any easier. I'm not big for getting any named hives and disturbing them in the wintertime. Now this don't disturb them. You want to go ahead and do it yours while I got it lit? Check. 
got your feet are leaking here. Oh yeah, we do. You need to put a cement block on here. You're getting a little bit of warpage on your heat lid. Getting in. Now here's one of Tim's hives. He's second year students. These are hives that are splits. It was made probably midsummer. This is a hive. Tim somehow lost his queen. We made him a new queen. Later than what most people say you can't. Little knowledge is all it takes. Now, I hope you enjoy that video and post on there any kind of requests you have. I'm going to try to get more and more videos out for the people that's trying to follow the organic way of keeping bees. Appreciate you watching.